welcome to IT Admins Corner. This is Mitesh Kangaramani and today we are going to learn about data encryption which is the securest way to store confidential information or even to share confidential information. Well, the biggest question here is that why should we need uh, encryption? Well, the answer is pretty much simple that every day we are using a social networking sites like Facebook, chatting application like WhatsApp or even mailing services like Gmail. But do you ever think that give, they gives you a hundred percent security? Well, definitely not, because they know everything about you. They know whatever you are sharing, right? So they only encrypt only your username and password, your personal videos, your personal photos, your personal chats are not at all encrypted. So it's our prime responsibility to not to share or even a store any confidential information without encrypting it, right? Because encryption eliminates all data leakage possibilities. So that's what exactly we are going to learn today that what actually a data encryption is. So let's get started. Well, the biggest question here is that what is the encryption is, right? Encryption is nothing but the process of converting data into a cipher text, means the garbage characters to prevent unauthorized users to see the contents of files. Every time when authorized users wants to access the data, they need to use a secret key or a password to decrypt the contents. Well, encryption is used to protect sensitive information during transmission and storage. There are basically three components of encryption. The number one is a plain text, which is the actual data. Number two is a cipher text, which is the garbage character after encryption. And number three is the encryption keys, which are used for locking or unlocking the plain text. Now just let's look at some objective of encryption. Well, first object is obviously a confidentiality, which guarantees the data is accessible by intended users only. Second objective is integrity, which assures that the sent data is same as the received data, which eliminates the risk of data modification during the transmission. Third objective is the authentication, well, which assures that the only accessible by the users who are having the valid keys to decrypt it. Fourth and last objective is non-repudiation. A sender cannot deny or falsify that he or she has not sent the messages. Now just let's look at some encryption usage. Well, the biggest use of encryption is done in encrypting users' credentials like username and passwords. It also gives a safe data storage, trusted online communication like banking transaction, secure medium of networking outside networks like the virtual private networks and it's also assures that the sender's identity because only authorized users are having access to the data. Now let's just look at some type of encryption. The first type of encryption is a symmetric encryption in which the secret key is used for encrypting and decrypting the contents which is best suitable in the database and disk storage where there is only a one endpoint is involved. The second type of encryption is asymmetric encryption, which is more secure because it's involving a two endpoints, which are sender and receiver. Symmetric encryption cannot be a good idea in the tasks like which involves sender and receiver because it's use a single secret key that involves risk to share over the internet. To overcome this problem, Asymmetric encryption comes into the action, which is a having a two key combinations that are public key and private key. Public key is only used to encrypt the content, which can be shared freely, while private key is kept secret and used for decrypting the contents. Third type of encryption is a hash function, which is actually a one way encryption and it does not require any kind of keys because Hashing is the process of taking a big body of data and reducing it into a small body of data. The small body of data is known as the hash value, which uniquely identifies the big body of data. Now let's just compare symmetric encryption with the asymmetric encryption. Where the first difference is symmetric encryption use only a secret key for encryption and decryption while the asymmetric encryption uses the combination of public and a private key. The second difference is the symmetric encryption process 
is simple and faster because the algorithm design of symmetric encryption is not more complex. At the same time, asymmetric encryption is slower and more complex because it's highly sophisticated algorithm. The third difference is that symmetric encryption requires that the both the senders and receivers should know the secret key, which is not the secure way because if anyone gets the secret key during a transmission, he will be able to decrypt the content. At the same time, AES encryption does not involve any risk because it's sharing a public key to encrypt. It is a not sharing private key and a private key is used for decryption. Now let's just look at some data encryption standards. DES is a previously predominant symmetric key algorithm for the encryption of a electronic data. It was developed in early 1970 at IBM. DES is now considered to be insecure for many applications because it uses 56 bits key size which gives approx this number of key combinations which can be cracked with the brute force attacks. The second type of encryption standard is AES which is considered as a replacement of an AES, sorry DES. It was published in 2001 by Federal Information Processing Standard. AES is a symmetric key algorithm block cipher and the US government standard for secure and classified data encryption and decryption. It has 128 bit block size with the various key size like 128, 192 and 256 bits which gives a prox this number of key combination which is definitely harder to crack. Now let's just look at some encryption tool which you can use for securing your data. The first tool here is a TrueCrypt which is an open source application and 100% secure or illegal. It has the ability to encrypt the hard drive and flash drives. You can generate encrypted volumes by creating encrypted file containers. The second encryption tool is here is Malvelop which you can use for doing encrypted online communication via emails. Mailvelop is based on OpenPGP encryption. So that's all for this video. Have a nice day.